This is the 2019 Toyota Camry Hybrid and you are tuned into V8 DSP. Now, most of you might have already been inside one of these Camrys. The question that you want me to answer is how well and how different is the hybrid drive from a regular car? That is exactly what we're going to find out. First off, everything else stays perfectly normal. Everything is just the way that you have it on any regular car. You have all your game features over here. You've got your park reverse, neutral and drive, and you've got all the other stuff that goes on over here. That stays constant. There's no difference in that. You've also got your same stuff, your speedometer. The only difference is that your RPM meter is now changed with a gauge that has charge, eco and power mode instead of your RPM meter. And you also get an MFD display in the center that basically shows you what sort of energy that you're using. Are you using the battery? Are you using the engine? Or are you using regenerative braking to charge the batteries up? That information is not something that you definitely need to be looking at. It's sort of the information that is a good to have and uh, it's more of an FYI and it's not got to be something with exactly what you're driving. So let's show you how it's going to drive. This is the first time that I'm driving a hybrid as well. So I'm new to, very new to this experience as well. So let's see how this car works and uh, I will take you around for the drive, see how this does. All right, so we put it in reverse and you also obviously got a uh, rear reverse camera with trackers. So we take out and the, the thing that you will immediately notice is All right, so I'm not sure how well the camera has managed to get that, but you can literally whisper inside the new Camry and you won't hear a thing from the coming from the car. Um, now, the, the good question that you might have in your mind is, when does the electric, when does the gas powered engine, when does the petrol power engine really kick in? So there are multiple calculations that Toyota has put together to understand when does the gas power engine, when does the petrol power engine come in? And one of the things that they've devised is, the moment you put your foot down and the moment you go above 40 kilometers per, per, per hour, that's what I'm noticing from the time that I've been driving this car. The moment you go above 40 kilometers per hour is when the motor kicks in. Apart from that, you're always driving on the battery and that really helps you save a lot of fuel. What Toyota has done really well with this car is that the mix between and the transition between a battery and a petrol power is seamless. You really don't uh, feel it and you don't really uh, notice as to when the battery is, when, when, the, when you're running on battery and when you're running on engine power. And I think that's a great thing, especially for new drivers that are driving on a hybrid. Apart from that, it drives like any other normal car. Uh, there's nothing else that difference to it. So you have this display over here, the displays that I was telling you about. So right now the engine is driving the wheels and the battery and the moment I let go of the accelerator pedal the wheels then start charging the battery and one of the other things that a lot of people have confusion about the hybrid is how do you charge this car how do you charge it's an electric car so how do you charge it and that is a big myth that I'm trying to bust is this car does not need to be charged this is not the car that needs to be plugged in overnight this is not the car that needs to be plugged in to a wall socket for you to charge it the car charges on two principles. One is regenerative braking. So the moment you let go of your uh, of, of the accelerator and the moment you start pressing your brake, it starts charging. And you can see it on the gauge over here. The moment I press my brake, the charging sheet really goes up. The charging display really goes up. The other way that the, that the motors is charged is, the other way that the battery is charged is using the engine power. So a lot of these times when the engine is actually driving the car and charging the battery at the same time. So when you're doing high speeds, when you're like 100, 120, when you're on Sheikh Zayed, the engine is actually charging your battery and it's also driving the car. You also got this infotainment system that definitely looks the part and uh, you've got a volume knob over here which a lot of these car manufacturers are now putting in. So that's a great touch over there. You've got these tactile buttons that make it very easy to navigate this. You, when you're driving, you don't really have a full screen that you need to look at. You've got these buttons that you can look at as well. And it's very responsive. So you can go in all of your options and you can see that it really pops up quickly. There's no delay and uh, it's got a very good responsive to it. It's got a very good design to it. The sound quality as well is really nice once you have everything set up over here. The sound quality is really good. Um, obviously, you've got your phone that you can set up over here. So you can set everything up over there and then you've got that going on for you. And then you can go in over here, audio and the navigation. A decent navigation as well is what you get. and. Um, You've got point of interest and everything else that you can put in over here just like any other navigation i haven't got the chance to use it as yet but uh seems to be a fair enough unit and you do get a 3d map as well so basically all the buildings 
you can see all the buildings and it's really responsive so if you look at the way that i'm walking around with the screen just touching the screen it's really responsive so i think that's a great thing uh, obviously you've got your channel you've got your track your phone and your apps for for all of that stuff that you can cut in and uh, you've got mirror link all that stuff uh, you've also got a very good display unit over here when it comes to the temperature control you've got a you've got the automatic and you've also got dual uh, temperature control on both the sides you get this nice little screen and then down here you've got uh, a USB and an aux over here and you've got and you've got your charging cable system over here that goes in you've also got a uh, wireless charger which is great and this also slides out and you can, you've got some more storage over here and you can slide this back in and your phone comes out of there so you basically push it and then you've got your phone hidden tap it again the phone comes out really well done and you've got the transmission over here you've got your gear selector and you also got a bunch of buttons over here uh, once this thing focuses there you go so you also got a bunch of buttons over here you've got eco normal and sport driving modes and then you've got the auto brake hold and you also have the ev mode so once your battery is enough once your battery is sufficiently charged and once you've got everything else you can press on this and it goes into full-time ev mode and you obviously got an electronic parking brake so i'm gonna drive right now so put it in park you've got an electronic parking brake two cup holders big size they look uh, really good and uh, i really love the build quality on this car the way that they've done everything else and i really love the material it's really good uh soft touch all around this uh, foxwood setup over here looks really nice mirrors do a very good job as well fairly any blind spot that i could notice you also got a bunch of uh, buttons up here once and you've also got a bunch of buttons up here that you can look at so you've got your controls for all of your lights you've got your sunroof so and you've also got your shade that you can close in and close down it's got a tilt feature as well so you've got that incorporated into it as well so you've got all that stuff going on and you also have auto dimming rear view mirrors which is great for this part for this point as that light sits there on the center stack of the steering you have the cruise control unit that goes over here you've got your mode selector in terms of uh, which mode that you're in for your music and you've got your channel, channel, channel selector over here your cruise control sits over here nice big Toyota logo that comes in over here you've got all your menu system so basically whatever that you want to do on the screen over there you can control that from here so you've got all your screen options you can look at your music you can look at all the different energy monitoring systems that they have going on you can look at uh, your various different settings whatever that you want to look at all of that goes over there and obviously you've got your voice command and i haven't i haven't used the voice command yet so i'm not exactly sure how well that works uh, i will use that and i'll let you know now apart from all of that other tech you also have great quality materials inside you've got this very good leather seats that comes in over here you've got leather armrests you've got very soft very good uh, soft touch material all around and uh, you've got a beautifully designed layout, you've got a high quality fit and finish of all the materials. And it's a really well built car, it's a Toyota and it's a premium Toyota, so it's a really well built car. And it shows with the way that the car drives as well, even on the highway it's extremely planted and it's a Camry. You don't, you don't need to know anything more about that, so it's already a proven platform. And with the 2019 model obviously they've made a lot of changes to this car. It does come with sunroof as well. That's one of the questions that I get asked a lot as well is that does the car get sunroof? Yes, it does. It does have a very good sunroof over here. So you do get all of that creature comfort. Uh, the, the other most controversial topic that I also sort of uh, get asked about, and this is also something that I was very curious about, was how different is this car from a regular taxi? And that's a very valid point because when you, when you look at all these taxis, which all of these Camrys, does it really make sense to buy a Camry hybrid when you have the image of all of these other cars being a taxi? The short answer is yes. It makes a lot of sense to buy one of these cars, although a lot of people might think that, oh, it's just a taxi. And here's the long answer. Now, there are two benefits of this. The first is that you know for a fact if the Dubai government and RTA are using the Camry hybrid as a taxi, it's a proven car. It's a car that, that they've tested, it's a car that they vouch for in terms of the reliability and that's the reason why they have it on the fleet. So you know for a fact that it comes with a lot of background check, it comes with a lot of uh, trust on the product, it comes with a lot of trust on the technology that's going in there. So that's one of the great things. The second is that spare parts 
are going to be very cheap long, long, longer down, down the line. I'm not talking about three or five years. You don't need to touch a Toyota for five years, but let's say 10, 15 years down the line, when you do need to change something, spare parts are going to be very cheap. It looks nothing like a taxi. And on the inside as well, yes, I do agree that the interiors might remind you a bit of the taxis, but not with the infotainment system over here that you've, that Camry's put in on the higher spec models. So if you are considering getting this car and if you're a little worried about it being a cab or a taxi, do consider getting the top of the line variant. That'll get you a lot of room, that'll get you a lot of stuff. And oh, by the way, the, the taxis don't come with the sunroof as well. So that's also something that you need to keep in mind. Also the black elements, the way that the front fascia is designed of this car, it's very different from what a taxi looks like. So I know it's a, it's a bit of a controversial topic and a bit uh, and, and it's a, and it is a bit of a personal uh, idea that people might have about the car and how good it is or what it reflects on you and blah blah blah. But in my personal opinion, I would go for this car. Basically, that's how good I think this car is. Obviously, you have the fuel efficiency that you get from a Camry. You have the comfort that you get from a Camry. It's a very comfortable car, and you've got the technology. You've got hybrid. You've got all of that stuff that's going in. At this price point for 130,000, that's where this Camry starts at. I think it's a great deal, and that's one of the reasons why you should definitely, definitely consider getting one of these cars. If you've made it this far in the video, you definitely like the content that I'm putting out. So make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out. And um, I'll see you soon on the next one. See you later. Cheers.